Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It is your boy, the Good Sir Knight, today with the suppressed M4. Pew, pew. And uh, today we're doing a review, a bit of a special topic. We're looking at the P84 Chester Multicam Black, made by yours truly, Commando Snore. Guys do great work. They originally got the uh, P83 sort of uh, battle jackets, which I did a review on, as well as the P83 chest rigs. However, the P84 has several differences to sort of modernize the design. But it is based off of the uh, older design, just in a uh, multicam black and with a lot of unique versatile options going on. So of course, if it comes to multicam black or red lenses and cool red aesthetic to begin with, <clears throat> you, gotta, you gotta talk about black powder red earth. Which I never really knew was a comic book. I found it was a video game first and I really liked the aesthetic. And then I was like, oh, there's a comic book too? That's awesome. And of course, I had to get the red shades and stuff. They make cool, cool graphic art. Highly recommend them as well. So with all that out of the way, we're going to be looking at the P84. Not three, or three, but four. Chestrig. And it's got a lot of the same design concepts, just uh, made in the United States and really, really cool. So of course you gotta do the whole stylized get up. You gotta make sure you have your cool freaking. We get a, yeah, right there. That's it. Bam. That's gonna be our freaking uh, video screenshot. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the discussion. Ah. Damn. I really do like their comics. I need to get them at some point. The uh, game I beat that at one point. It was a lot of fun. The whole Amber element is Oscar Mike, and of course the whole. If you've ever been yeeted by an AK-47, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Great achievement, 10 out of 10. So, I'm fogging up my glasses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off this, um, this nice little lid and headgear and cool comm system that makes it difficult to really ascertain just how loud I am talking. And we're gonna get started. So, <clears throat> get those out of the way. This balacalpa has been collecting dusk, dust. And I've been coughing the first like 15 times I tried to film this video. Oh, and I've got I've got hair now, so ignore that. Anyway, P84. Bam! Chest rig. What does it do? Well, the P83 had some really good designs. So what Commando Store attempted to do was stick with a lot of that design concept and philosophy without overbuilding or underbuilding on it and make it really, really versatile. And uh, my buddy, he picked this up. Eh, he liked it, but you know. Multicam Black is kind of a niche sort of a more deal. I myself am a fan of the M81 with the uh, freaking Coyote Brown. It's just what I really like. And um, yeah, so going with the reds and blacks, and of course you gotta wear blue jeans. If you're doing, <laughs> if you're doing anything styled after Black Powder Red Earth, you gotta be wearing blue jeans. It's it's, uh, it's the rule. I don't make the rule. Ugh. The cross harness, I'm, I'm undecided on the cross harness. I, love, I prefer the H harnesses, they're just more comfortable. But the cross harness does let you sort of get a little bit of chunk forward here. You can kind of pull it forward off of your body. Normally, you'd be like, okay, that's weird. Why would you want that? But the benefit here is there is a freaking map pouch accessory going on. So if you need to access any of your freaking combat casualty cards or yeah, tactical combat casualty care, TCCC cards, or maps and all that cool stuff, they fit nicely in here. Now the original had two pockets up here. Here we have a single one. It's still got the same pouch over here. Instead of the little flare pen pouch, you now got a little Velcro pouch for multi-tools, hanga mag, stuff of that nature. I do like the fact that you can just kind of like push up underneath it and if it's a shorter item, it'll pop up and you can get access to it from there. Otherwise, it's nice and deeply concealed. Of course, to pop this open, here's the important part. I'm gonna Try to make this work. Then this P84. I tried doing a video and I was like still calling it the P83 over and over, but the P83 is a different design. It is the more old school design. However, this is made very nice. As you can see down here, we do have a lot of that same sort of like stiffer backing mesh material that you see in the battle jacket and the other P83 systems. So what do we got going on? Well, the side pouches here, I think these are probably among the most important. Generally, you would have one it can be dedicated to all your medical supplies and stuff of that nature in a very small sort of setup. And on this one, it used to be a little like compass grenade pouch and like a smaller IFAC whatever pouch. However, these are both perfectly smoke grenade size. However, the smoke grenades you see are floating over here. The original, these were slick. Now they put in a cool sort of, pop that guy out of the way. There's a little laser cut setup 
uh, two wide, but was it like four, so you can put extra M4 mag pouches or a little radio pouch and all your fun stuff there. So you can sort of beef it out a little bit. The original was kind of just mags and the extra stuff, but now you can add a few more things to it. And you can just have the smoke grenade handles just hang on in there, and it's a really cool design choice. I'm actually gonna yeet. Let's get this guy too. Smoke grenades are nice, but um, yeah, as you can see, we still got those two, those laser cut sections, and those are nice. So I didn't need radios, anything extra, to give it a little bit of um, modularity. Of course, we already looked, we got the map pack there. And um, magazines. This is the unique part. This is why I still prefer older chest rigs to the newer ones. It's a personal choice. I do, I do understand that some people like very, bam, this only fits this type of mag sort of setup, as you'll see with like S-Tac in the sort. Even I've got my M4 mag here from the, um, which we got from Haley Strategic. However, what's odd, what's unique is this can also hold AK mags. And now that I have a few AK mags for demonstration purposes only, I can move this guy out of the way. And as you will see, one of the cool things that Haley does is Haley also holds M4 mags, which I thought was cool in a more modern sense, especially compared to S-Tac. However, this was designed for one of the S S South African Defense Force. They were using was it the freaking Galil or was it the not the G3, the freaking G3 is never one of the battle rifles that they were using. Cool, freaking uh, I can't remember the exact nomenclature. I'm pretty sure it was like a Galil or a Galil variant is what they were running. So of course this was designed for more battle rifle or was it 308 or 7.6259 magazines of that sort. But because of that and the fact that these mag pouches are divided, which is something I was like, you can fit AK mags, or as you're actually running, you can still fit M4 mags. And of course, pretty much anything and everything in between. If it holds battle rifle mags, it's going to hold all sorts of mags. However, it does help to have the, um, <laughs> to actually use the old school Velcro flaps, because making up for the size difference, those could go a long way. So of course we got medical supplies on the right side here, so that's on the left side. Well of course you wouldn't get far without your LaCroix. It's literally just you can't live without it. I mean, it's it's you gotta have a LaCroix somewhere on your kit. Mm. And as always, crack open a LaCroix with your boys. I should have refrigerated this one before. Uh, it took so long to film, it's warm now. Mm. Oh, that's good though. Alright, so. What else is going on? Well, obviously we got the laser cut. We've got improvements here. They added the little freaking. I'm gonna remember these names off the top of my head one of these days. The freaking um, yeah, the last not the last one. Yeah, the Velcro, clippy, the no IPs or loose straps ordeal going on. Of course, you got the um, because of the X harness, you got the forward pull. You got the one back here, and those are all freaking quarter buckle. However, as opposed to a lot of your more modern freaking um, micro chest rigs and all that stuff. This one has the material come from the chest rig up to the harness. So if you're buying a harness, like say if you're like me and you find an H harness in multicam black from say like, I think, uh, I know freaking, I don't think Haley had a good one that I liked. I do know the freaking Spiritus ones had a nice one. And my buddy even had his freaking Faro Concepts ones. However, they generally build their straps into the harness and just have the little buckle to attach. These are going the opposite direction. So, you would need a very skilled tailor, preferably tactical, to build you a sort of harness that you'd be able to swap out with this if you wanted to get a more comfortable H harness going on. That said, there are little two bits for routing comms and hoses and stuff to the back and all that cool stuff. So that's a, that's a neat feature. Of course, it crosses uh, the... You know, left side over the right from front to back. So that's pretty cool. So there's other things to talk about here. And, um, actually, oh uh, yeah, there's these little bungees down here so you can put little pens and crazy stuff. But there was some cool things I saw. Now, let me actually pop this off. It's a bit easier to talk about if we were to dump out all of these mags first. Let me do that real quick. Ugh, for the sake of the video, it must be done. And yeah, being able to carry six mags, never a bad thing. You will, um, especially if you're not wearing armor, you're gonna, a lot of your defense comes more to the uh, mobility and uh, ability to shoot back more than if you were wearing armor without having to do all the refits. Of course, you just pop this off over your head. I do like the, um, the friggin' little center zip on the, 
Oh, uh, was it the LBT chest trick and stuff I got? Because that stuff is just um, really, really useful. So of course these are set up as so. They're very, very well made, by the way. Like freaking that stitching. That is really good stitching. And of course, here we go. I think I can get a better view. P84, not to be confused with P83, made in America. Absolutely based. Do not bleach. <laughs> you got your cool little beef and egg. There's a fun little material. Nice, breathable. Uh, ignore the fact that I'm like coated in sweat. That's uh, just sort of life at this point. So, oh no, don't do that. As you can see here, oh, it's a bit a bit taller. There's like one extra there. Laser cut little setup there so you can put in all your nice stuff. You can throw in a knife. You can add in extra mags. You can add in your radio. All that stuff that you might need while running a chest rig. They also make um. The same version in normal multicam for uh, people who are less about the aesthetic and probably more about um, doing stuff during the day instead of during the night. But uh, yeah, so there you can see actually they do have the sewing for those extra pouches that aren't covered by the map going straight through the material over there. Of course, your freaking was it the half inch buckles. So if these like break or snap or anything crazy, these are very easy to replace. Same with these guys. And uh, yeah, you got your normal little, ah, I'll remember the name of these one day. These are easy to adjust and more of the material down here to set them up. multi gun black. Oh, and there was something. I didn't even like notice this for, until literally, literally like two hours ago. I didn't even know this was a feature. But if you pop open down here, you hear that Velcro, right? Yeah, there's Velcro down here. What's that for? Well, you, since uh, dangler pouches are considered all the rage and the cool thing these days, how far does this go? You can actually pop all of this open and add in your own little dangler pouch. So you're not going to be left wanted there. You don't have to wear the old school uh, fanny pack. You can have your dangler right there with any extra supplies to sort of actually add even more to it. So. Yeah, six mags. I'm a big fan of the six mags. I'm a fan that holds AK mags because I have nothing else outside of this guy over here on my belt that holds AK mags. So this is a good chest rig if we needed to run the AK. Yeah, so it gives you another option there if you're trying to run old school, unmodernized AKMs and uh, help other people get the achievement of being yeeted by an AK. At least in a sense of airsoft, uh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe don't do that with the uh, the real thing. But airsoft game wise, yeah, absolutely. So that is the P84, sort of modernized P83 chest streak. It's cool, and um, they they cost a bit, but you know, chest rigs are chest rigs. This is uh, low profile enough to wear over slick plate carriers, well enough, and um, yeah, multicam. So that is pretty much the entire video. If you guys have any like questions or concerns or anything crazy or the exact nomenclature of what the SADF was using, because for the life of me, I do not have enough caffeine in my system to remember right now. So <laughs> yeah, also it's hot. I do like a nice little pouch. A very smart upgrade from the little pen flare holder design. I really like that. I'll, um, yeah, they got these guys up here, that little elastic bit I was mentioning that is tacked in there with the uh, attachment point into the uh, harness system. Um, can you fit a pen? Yeah, the pen would sit off to the side, but you could fit like a few small things in there, maybe wire management, stuff of that nature. But that's basically the whole review. There's not too much. It's a very effective chest rig. It's worked very well. These guys, they make really good quality stuff. So this thing isn't going to like fall apart on you like some uh, conderp materials or anything like that. Wait a second. Yeah, they're both, they're both, they're both uh, set loops to the outside. Yeah, I'd imagine it's not too hard to mount a PTT. In the yeah, there you go. There's your PTT mount right there. He's, um, okay, so only the first one goes all the way through. I didn't notice that a minute ago. Where this first guy comes in, yeah, you got space under there. And that's going to be the key PTT mount for running comms. That, and there should be one on the other side. Yeah, yeah, same concept on the other side, so. There you go, PTT mounts. I am learning stuff as I'm doing the review. Isn't that nice? All right, so, whew. I'm gonna say that's all the key takeaways. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the 
comments down below. I will do the best to answer them. And um, phew, that's all I have for you fine folks today. So cheers, stay chivalrous, and uh, hit the gym three to five times a week. Peace out.